Okay, <clears throat> on my other video on YouTube, just explaining how the ZF diff out of a Holden Commodore VE VF model, or even a Holden GTO or GTS or whatever, Statesman, that's the diff there. Now this is what happens to the planetary gears when all the clutches wear out rapidly. There's the carrier with the, all the gears and the clutches go into. Now you see here, here's the clutches, right? You see all that fibre there? It's all worn off. That's actually not bad condition, these ones. They're still it's got a little bit of fibre on them, see that? Some diffs don't even have fibre on them. All, this, all these clutches are just all torn up, torn to pieces. So these ones are all worn out, but it's still like not that bad compared to some other cars. But then look what happens to the planetary gears when the all the clutches go on here and when they wear down in thickness all the fiber comes off them thickness goes thinner and thinner so it pulls it out of mesh of all the other gears and look what happens to all the teeth that's all the teeth that's a side gear that's what happens they used to have teeth on there that's the pinion gear see great design isn't it the Holden Commodore VE VF model ZF German diff great design this diff's fucked up in under a year been in a GTS brand new diff under a year it was like 10 months and this is what happens to it pretty good engineering eh you think they'd have it all worked out by now but they clearly don't know what they're fucking doing unless they mean to do this I bet you anything they just do it on purpose to get it out of warranty. Then when the car fucks up, that's great. They get to sell another one. They don't give a shit about their customers.